All right, Coach, obviously you've known for a while the teams you're going to play in 2012-13, but today's the day the schedule's going to come out. First, talk about your team and who you've got lined up, uh, kind of focusing first on the games at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Yeah, we're excited about that. We're very appreciative of, I believe, a, a great partnership that we've been able to formulate um, with the Pacers organization and Pacers Sports Entertainment and uh, just being able to play in what we think is the best basketball venue uh, on the planet uh, is great. Our guys love it. Um, and to play some league games there again is fantastic. Uh, we'll play uh, North Dakota State. Um, we'll also play Fort Wayne and Oakland as well. And uh, we want those to be a, you know, an offshoot of uh, playing well at home, uh, great crowd support, energy, and uh, really a great attitude towards uh, just being one of the best arenas that you could possibly play basketball in. Now, overall, you've got you're going to face at least ten teams that were in the postseason a year ago. Uh, pretty, pretty strong slate overall. Talk about some of the schools that you're going to play this year. You know, that's that's really nothing new. I think uh, to compete, you want your non-conference season to prepare you for your conference slate, and the combination of those prepares you for your conference tournament and springboarding into postseason play. And so. Um, We've always played a tough, challenging schedule. I think that gets you better. It, it determines what you're good at. It, it reveals what you need to work on. And the fact that, um, you know, playing that number of teams that have been in postseason play, uh, there's some good quality programs. I mean, being able to play four in-state schools, Butler, Valpo, Indiana State, Ball State, um, Maryland, an ACC program, uh, kicking things off uh, early in the season in the season tip-off NIT tournament uh, is very good playing starting that first round there at Michigan. Um, so we're excited, you know, Missouri Valley schools both in Indiana State and Bradley, um, you know, it's a, it's a tough slate, uh, one that we're excited about because of the number of home games, we're excited about that and uh, we want all of these components to prepare us for having a, a super season. Now as long as you've been doing scheduling, you've always had a focus on trying to play as many in-state schools as possible. Talk specifically about the some of the schools in state that you'll see both at home and on the road. Yeah, it makes sense. I think uh, in, in these times where uh, you know you're, you're in a situation where you want to make things work financially, uh, playing schools with good proximity to our campus uh, really makes sense when it's time to go on the road. Um, so the chance that I don't know if we've played all four of them in the same season before, possibly years back, but. Um, Indiana State, you know, we're excited about continuing that series. Uh, Ball State, we played a couple times last year. Uh, Valpo, we played last year, and we haven't played Butler since really the infancy stages of our Division One process. And so we're grateful. We're, we're very appreciative because I think, you know, that's how you build a program. You know, there are a lot of quality mid-major programs here in this state, and uh, getting a chance to, to square off with some really help in the recruiting side of things. But as you uh, – become competitive with your your own schedule. Lastly, the the Summit League has uh, another twist to it this year with the addition of uh, Omaha and no longer Oral Roberts in Southern Utah. Talk about the the overall state of the league and some of the opponents that, that we'll see this year. You know, the league, I think, could be as balanced as it's ever been. I thought last year it was as competitive as it's ever been, just a lot of great teams. A lot of high-powered offense, a number of guys that led the nation or were at the top of the leaderboard in scoring output, um, a lot of very efficient and effective offensive juggernaut-type teams, uh, which just shows, you know, to do that, you've got a lot of good players in the league. Um, I really see a great balance. South Dakota State, obviously, finishing second to Oral Roberts last year. Oral Roberts had a great run. I think they were 17-1 and one and just uh, ran out of gas a little bit. But... South Dakota State was playing as well as anyone and, and propelled that into the NCAA tournament. And they return uh, virtually everything and everybody. So, uh, you know, they'll be the odds on, you know, definite target on their back. And then there are a lot of teams, I think, that return a lot of key components, some guys stepping into new roles across the board in league play. But it'll be competitive. You know, Western Illinois, North Dakota State, ourselves, Oakland, um, excited to play Nebraska Mall. We haven't played them before. And um, it's always interesting getting uh, new guys in the league and getting accustomed to whether that be the travel side of things, style of play, or pr preparation. But um, expect a very, very good competitive year in the Summit League again. And, uh, you know, definitely be challenging. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.